What's going on everyone and welcome to the channel. In this video, I'll be sharing what I think is the best cashback trifecta to get right now for the vast majority of everyday Americans. And what I mean by a cashback trifecta is simply three amazing cashback credit cards that are easy to get approved for and are ideal for both high and low spenders. I'll talk about earning rates, sign up bonuses, and more ways to optimize this amazing three card setup for maximum cashback on your spending. So starting off, what are the primary focuses of this cashback trifecta? Well, first off, we want a long-term rewards setup. So each of the bonus earning categories should be permanent ones. For example, although cards like the Chase Freedom Flex offer 5% on groceries in the first year as part of its sign-up bonus, I wouldn't consider this a long-term card to use on grocery purchases because the earning rates fall after one year. Now second, I also want a three card setup that appeals to everyone, both high and low spenders. After all, when you're starting your career, you're probably spending very little relative to an individual who has a family to look after. I also want this three card setup to be very easy to keep and maintain year to year. So this overall means that I'm also targeting for no annual fees, since annual fees can easily eat up the cash back you earn if you simply don't spend enough money. So by having a no annual fee trifecta, you aren't pressured to spend money that you otherwise weren't willing to spend. And finally, I want a cashback setup that has a low barrier to entry. And this means that the cards should be easy to get approved for with reasonable credit limits and the elevated reward rates must be easily accessible. For example, although the Bank of America cash reward cards can offer very lucrative earning rates on their cashback cards, you would need to hold tens of thousands of dollars with Merrill Lynch to qualify for their preferred rewards tiers to have elevated earning rates. And simply put, I recognize that not all of us have more than $50,000 or $100,000 in investable assets that can be moved to Bank of America. So I wouldn't consider these high cash back setups to be easily accessible to the vast majority of everyday Americans. Additionally, I'll also be discussing only personal cards, so no invite only or business credit cards. I'm also not focusing on loyalty or store specific cards. So although the Costco card, for example, can offer great rewards, I recognize that those stores aren't easily accessible by everyone in the United States. I'm also focused on a cashback setup that most people just can use effectively to maximize their cash back wherever they are and however they choose to spend. So with those three rules laid out in front of us, what is this amazing cashback trifecta setup? So starting off, we need a solid flat rate cashback credit card for all non-category spent. And what better card to use than the Wells Fargo Active Cash? you earn an unlimited flat 2% cash back on all purchases in the United States. There's also an amazing sign up bonus going on right now where you can earn $200 in cash rewards after spending $1,000 in the first three months. You also get 0% intro APR for the first 15 months and up to $600 of cell phone protection each year when you pay your monthly phone bill. It also has a no annual fee and is a Visa card, so acceptance should never be a big issue. And if you'd like to learn more about this specific card, I'd recommend checking out my full Wells Fargo Active Cash review here on this channel. So altogether, I would actually start off with getting this card first and putting all of my non-category spending on this card to at least get 2% cash back. And to be honest, having 2% cash back on all purchases is already pretty good and much better than what the average American earns back on their spending, especially considering that many adults do not carry credit cards or only have 1% cash back cards. So the Wells Fargo Active Cash is definitely a card worth considering. Now, one essential category all of us spend money on is food, both through buying groceries and eating out. After all, we can't survive without eating, right? 
In fact, the average grocery bill alone for US households is nearly $400 per month. And if you eat out, your food expenses are probably a lot higher as well. So how about we earn some bonus rewards on this necessary type of spending? And of course, look no further to the Capital One Saver One Rewards credit card, which is a surprisingly strong credit card that far surpasses popular cards like the American Express Blue Cash every day. For long-term rewards, the Saver One card offers 3% on both grocery stores and dining out, which is absolutely awesome. You also earn 3% on popular streaming services like Hulu, Netflix, and HBO, and 3% on entertainment purchases like movie theaters, concerts, amusement parks, and other tourist attractions. You also get a better sign-up bonus of $200 when you spend as little as $500 in the first three months. And what also makes this card especially amazing is that it has no annual fee and no foreign transaction fees. Therefore, you can easily use this card abroad if you travel outside of the United States. And this card is also a MasterCard, so it is also virtually acceptable everywhere in the US and potentially also abroad. And as a result, the elevated earning rates beyond groceries and better acceptance rates makes this a much more profitable card in terms of cash back than many other popular cards like the American Express Blue Cash Every Day, which only offers 3% on groceries, 2% on gas, and is an American Express card, so it has more limited acceptance rates. Now, the final card is one of my absolute favorites, and that is the City Custom Cash. Now, this is honestly an absolute banger of a credit card. It's a no annual fee MasterCard that offers 5% on your top eligible spending category on up to the first $500 spent per billing cycle. And the bonus earning categories include restaurants, gas stations, grocery stores, travel, transit, streaming, drug stores, home improvement stores, fitness clubs, and live entertainment. You also earn $200 in cash if you spend more than $750 in the first three months as part of that big sign-up bonus. And what makes this card so special is that it's fully customizable to your top eligible spending category that resets every single month or billing cycle. So in other words, if you anticipate spending more on gas, for example, this month, great. You whip out this card and get 5% cash back on gas stations. And maybe next month you want to get 5% cash back on a round trip plane ticket to see family and friends or take a small vacation. Well, that's awesome. And you could always still use the 5% cash back on dining, groceries, streaming, or entertainment services if you spend a lot of money in those categories. But just keep in mind that you would also be having some overlap with your Capital One Saver One card. Nevertheless, what makes this an amazing card is that it automatically adjusts to your top spending category for 5% cash back. It's also perfect for low spenders who want to travel, especially considering that you don't have to go through any special travel portals or online travel agencies to book your vacation trips. And if you'd like to learn more about this card and how to further optimize your rewards, specifically for free travel, I would check out the full review of the City Custom Cash here on my channel. And altogether, I have to say that the Wells Fargo Active Cash, Capital One Saver One, and City Custom Cash all have no annual fees and are incredibly easy to use to earn more cash back on your everyday spending habits. They offer relatively high sign-up bonuses that are very easy to meet, even for low spenders. They're also all cards that have low barriers to entry and are relatively easy to get approved for with reasonable credit limits. You also don't have to jump through any hoops to earn amazing rewards, and there's no need for special travel portals or shopping with specific merchants. And this cashback setup with just three cards can help you earn hundreds of dollars in cash back every single year on things that you were going to purchase anyways. They're also either Visa or MasterCard, so acceptance will always be a thing wherever you go, both in the US and around the world, especially considering you have a no foreign transaction fee card in the Capital One Saver One. 
So how would I personally optimize this cash back trifecta? So at the start of each month, I would want to plan out any big purchases I need to make and see if they fall under one of the 5% categories on the city custom cash. The most useful one I think for most Americans is probably 5% cash back on gas stations since it doesn't overlap with the bonus categories on the Capital One Saver One card. And you could also easily use this card for 5% on travel, for the occasional vacation, or when visiting to see family and friends. Otherwise, the City Custom Cash can just match whatever top eligible spending category that you personally have anyways. And then the Capital One Saver One card is going to be an amazing long-term keeper card for 3% on groceries, dining, entertainment, and streaming to earn bonus cash back on purchases many of us would make either way. And finally, we'd use the Wells Fargo Active Cash to earn 2% on everything else that doesn't fall under these elevated categories. And if I end up to be traveling outside of the United States, I would definitely keep my Saver One card handy because it has no foreign transaction fees, thereby saving you quite a lot of money in the future. So at the end of the day, I'd love to know your thoughts on this three card cash back setup. Would you want to apply for any of these cards? And do you agree with my reasoning on this system being one of the easiest and best cash back trifectas that anyone can get their hands on right now? Leave your thoughts and questions down below and I'll try to get through each of them as best as I can. I really like talking with you all down in the comment section and I'd love to just keep continuing that. And if you like this type of content, feel free to leave a like and subscribe for more financial videos. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy. See you next time.